Hi ladies, in this video that I'm doing today, I figured I would do a video that tells you what all of the abbreviations for on different things for like your journey to conceive. If you're just starting out on trying to conceive your first child, um, you might not know what some abbreviations are if you are doing some looking online. Um, so I figured I would talk to you guys a little bit about that. I do have a little shortcut here on my phone about it. Um, so I guess I'll just go ahead and get started. And sorry I look like crap. I did not feel very good this morning, so I didn't want to get up and do anything. I attempted to put my hair up in a bun, but it didn't go too well. So I'll just go ahead and get started on this video. Um, if you see 2WW, it means two week wait. That is the time, like the point from getting a positive ovulation test to two weeks after to where you could get a positive pregnancy test. Um, a lot of women say that that is the most brutal two week wait ever. So um, then AF is amp flow or your menstrual cycle, AKA your period. Um, they say AF or amp flow because it's a little bit nicer and it just, uh, it just seems a little weird to be saying period all the time in a post, right? So BFN is big fat negative and that is referring to a pregnancy test. Um, some women do use them in the ovulation tests, but not a whole lot. Then there's BFP, which means big fat positive. So that's like no denying that there is a line there and that that is positive. Um, and then there's BCP, which is birth control pills. Uh, you don't really see that a whole lot on like TTC pages unless they're telling you that they just got off of birth control pills. So if you see, I just got off BCP two days ago. That means that they just stopped taking their pills two days ago. Um, BW is obviously blood work to check for various different things about different hormones or to check for pregnancy or to check to make sure you ovulated or anything like that. Um, then there's CY, which means cycle. Um, on here it says CY with like the hashtag sign, so the number sign. Um, a lot of women say CD number 22 or CD number 6 or something like that. So I don't really see CY. I see a lot of CD, which is cycle day. Then there's DPO, which means days past ovulation. Um, so like the day you ovulated, the next day would be considered DPO1. And then like so on and everything like that. Um, let's see. There's DH and DN and DW. I don't see those a whole lot. It's dear husband, dear niece or nephew, and dear wife. I've never really seen those. I've maybe seen it three times the entire time I've been TTC. Um, then there's FSH, which is follicle stimulating hormone. And that's um, like pills like Clomid and stuff like that that I will be taking it's to help with your TTC journey. Then there's HPT, which is home pregnancy test. Um, obviously, like that's like your clear blue digitals or just your clear blue or your first response early results. Um, another one that you do see is FRER, which is the first response early result. So, um, a lot of women just shorten that instead of saying getting a first response or whatever like that. Um, IF is infertility. LMP is last menstrual period. So, I mean, I just, I don't really see that one a whole lot either, but it is on here. And I figured I would tell you guys just in case you do see it and then this way you guys know. Um, M slash C is miscarriage. 
that's a very touchy subject and a lot of people put like a trigger or something like that and then they put the story down in the comments because they don't want um, other women getting upset about seeing their post if they had gone through something similar and it just brings bad brings back bad memories or something like that so a lot of women if they're posting about it on Facebook they trigger it just in case um, OTC is over-the-counter um, that's obvious they're talking about like medication then there's OV which is ovulation then there's PCOS I see this one quite a lot it's polycystic ovarian syndrome and it means that you have like cysts and stuff like that on your ovaries and it just causes a whole bunch of infertility problems um, you don't get like it's, it's harder to conceive when you have PCOS then there's PG which is pregnant um, SA which is semen analysis TX is treatment and TTC is obviously trying to conceive um, and then there's FX which is fingers crossed um, and then there's BD which is baby dance or baby dust um, a lot of women tell you to start BDing whenever you get a positive ovulation test which that means that they're telling you to start baby dancing to start getting it, everything done to where you could try to get that egg fertilized this month um, if you guys have any other questions about different abbreviations just leave them down below in the comments but I had posted a video here about a wreath that I started making and I just wanted to give you guys a little update on that um, I do need to get more tool for it I am almost out but this is what I have done so far oh did you hook it take it back a little bit so you guys can see um, I love how it looks it's very bright and flashy um, the orange and the green mixed together kind of make like a yellow looking color but I absolutely love it it's gonna look awesome when it's outside I don't know why it's doing that where the two pieces like the two colors meet making it look yellow doesn't look yellow to me but I don't know my lighting must just be messed up on the computer here or not the computer the camera but this is what the wreath looks like now and it's not even quite halfway done when it's halfway done it'll be like down to here so maybe one more orange and one more green and it'll be halfway done but I only have enough to do like three quarters of the tool um, I showed you guys at the beginning of the last video how much tool is left on the roll and that's like that's all I have left not really a whole lot but it is enough to get at least three quarters of the tool done um, so yeah that's that's what my wreath looks like so far uh, I will post another video once it gets completely done I like I said I do want to see about putting letters or something like that on it and if I do decide to do that I'll show you guys the letters that I use and the stuff that I use to paint them and all that kind of stuff this way sorry I had a spider on me this way you don't have to like go through the same problems I went through when I went and I made my um, flag wreath the first time I used wooden stars and they were just so heavy that my wreath kept turning on my door and so it would put the stars at the bottom because it was just so top heavy and it just it didn't work that's the first one that fell off and it fell off within a week so uh, the letters that I did find they're really small and good for this size wreath just like the you the the letters that you saw in the Steelers wreath um, if you watched my video on the sports wreaths with my holiday wreaths and stuff like that 
Um, so I will show you guys those letters. I did stock up on them because I got them at Walmart and they were like 97 cents a bag. So I just went ahead and stocked up on them in case I ran out of a letter and I could open up a new pack. So I'll show you guys that and everything once I decide what I'm going to do when I finish this wreath here. Um, any other further questions or comments, just leave them down below. And again, if you guys have any, any abbreviations that you guys don't understand or that you need help with, just again, leave them down below. And I'll get back to you as soon as I can. Um, so that's it for this video. So like my channel or subscribe to my channel and like the video and again leave comment leave any kind of feedback that you guys like if you guys don't like something that I do just let me know um, other than that just subscribe and have a good day bye everybody